Okay, well, uh, what we should say is that uh, now the number of the assignment that you give is not proper. Means that few students give the assignment and send the assignment for last one, which is not good. I think that we should have some other policy force you to send the homework. Let me see what we will do. And also I can see some fault uh, inside of your assignment as I correct them till now. I put the list of the received assignment on the WeChat group. For today lecture, and you can check them. If your name is not there, send it before today lecture is end, and uh, try to solve. That is just the key to be success in our lecture series. Uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway. Uh, Today we are going to discuss regarding the Carnot map, uh, which is one of another tools we uh, should use till end of our lecture series. It's very simple. It's not difficult at all. And uh, I think for the Friday lectures, I will try to prepare some clips uh, regarding the drawing the before that, I will do, and maybe you can find it uh, on the web page. Please uh, follow our lectures groups and uh, uh, <clears throat> see the notice that I will put there, because then by the um, maybe seeing some clips, you can learn uh, better. Uh, anyway, uh, just I'm waiting for the feedback uh, that sound is okay or and you can see the PPT, then we will start today lecture. Okay, well, uh, there is two things uh, that I should uh, remind you. First is that the task that you will send, uh, please solve as much as you can and uh, do it on time first of all second thing is that your assign attendance in the class is more important i saw that just 10 students are there and 12 students sometimes come sometimes will not come definitely we cannot give them the mark and we have some policy for attendance as you know third things that i want uh, you know, is that um, we add one part as the part of 25 in the lecture series, as you say, and I call it simulation, okay? I will not teach this part, but we put very good PPT, means that if you just read that PPT, you will understand it well, and uh, you can, uh, learn it uh, very simple just by following the ppt that i put uh, please follow this ppt and from this time whatever you will uh, you are going to send which need the designing with the logics or any gates you should use this uh, ppt uh, you should use this uh, uh, software. Then don't remember, don't forget to uh, use this simulation. It's very powerful and it's very good one. Maybe for your future lectures, you can also use it and it will help you for further study and uh, working. Then please remember, produce. Uh, there is also one in installation clips is there that you can watch the clip and uh, follow the uh, li link for downloading and how to installing and all, okay? Then 
you should install uh, Pro Tools uh, on your computer and uh, and start uh, using that. Okay, I even put the notice in our groups. Okay. What uh, we said till now that uh, how we can represent uh, the Boolean algebra, uh, Boolean al algebra um, statement, but there is also some other way to showing the relation between input and output for digital uh, designing. Uh, which people will call it K map or Carnot map? It's because the person who made the came the this map the name was Carnot, then that is why they call it K map. Uh, in very uh, short, we can say that the K map is the visual way to simplify the logic expressions, and it will give the most simplified from the expression. As you see last uh, lectures and even till now, even if we work hard on the relation between Boolean algebra, sometimes people can make it simpler. And also sometimes it's uh, very tough for the big statement that we have to just using the um boolean algebra rules okay then they invent and made one nice uh cable or graph or map that they call it k map and with the help of them they can do this simplification simpler this simplification of logic expression will use the boolean algebra and uh, it will use because it's lack of a specific rules to predict the most suitable next step in the simplification process means sometimes um, we will be confused that what should be the next step, but what, what should I do that next, which came up easily can sort this problem. And also it's difficult to de de determine whether the simplest form has been achieved or not, as already I tell you. Sometimes it's difficult to say that is it the last step or no? Okay, keep it in your mind that it, these are the first uh, we can say reason that we should use the K map. K map as the graphical method can use to obtain the most simplified form of expression in a standard form in SOP or POS, and its simplest form of an expression in is a one that has minimum number of the terms with the least number of the literals or variables in each term. By simplifying an expression to the one that use the minimum number of terms, we will be ensured that the function will be implemented with the minimum number of gates. And by simplifying an expression, to the one that use the least number of the literals for each term, we will be ensured that the function will be implemented with gates that have the minimum number of inputs. But what is the real K map form? You know that we will start from two variable, three variable, four variable, or two inputs, three inputs four inputs like that, and we can build our map based on that. Suppose if uh, I want uh, to show the K map for two variable, I can uh, show it like this. As you will see in my true table, this pictorial view of uh, my inputs, um, with the common factors and therefore elementing the unwanted variables is there. And K map uh, can also be described as the special arrangement of our uh, true table. The diagram as it shows here, 
in uh, illustrating uh, in the illustrating the correspondence between the k map and true table um, is shows here okay but what was really it will shows let me show you uh, what is the arrangement and how we can do. see the first place first place for variable a i can have just two position one is zero another one is one okay next for b also i can have zero and i can have one okay now we will see one from a one from b means that the zero zero is the situation that i have in the a zero and one it's for the b one and one uh here should be as the d and one from b and whenever my a is zero it's uh, equal to my c okay means that my a is one and my b is uh, zero it's become to the c as you see this arrangement will show us and uh, show us the true table very fast and very nice and uh, then by this arrangement we can do the simplification which i will tell you as following using the k map expression with two to four variables are uh, easily minimized an expression with five to six are more difficult but uh, we can do that an expression with seven or more variable also extremely is difficult maybe sometimes people say that it's not difficult to minimizing the k map then what we will do we will use two to four variable okay i will teach you five but more than that it's not the subject and uh, maybe we just see some case and we'll not miss that till your exam hardly you have between four to five variable to use the k map okay well <clears throat> let us see once again the k map the values inside the squares are uh, will copy it from the output column of the true table therefore there is one squares in the map for every row of the true table we'll check suppose in the case that my a is one which is here and my b is zero my position is here okay it, it's exactly same as previous example but now i have some value for my f or i have some value for my output function around the edge of the k maps are values of two inputs variable a is long the top and b is down left hand side and diagram explained that the values around the edge of map can be taught of as uh, coordinates so suppose as an example the square of top right and corner of the map in the above diagram has coordinate of a equal to one and b equal to c which is exactly the output or the function of this is one something that you should note that the value in the f column represent the particular function to which k map corresponds or will be the output of our uh, main function or main works of our design system <clears throat> uh, let us do some example suppose i have the um, true table which in that with the two variable of a and b i can represent uh, with the form of the k map as you will see when a and b are zero the output is one as here when a is zero but b is one my output is one when a is one and b is zero my output is zero 
and when both of them are one, my output is zero. Okay, but really, what it will show you remember for the last uh, lectures, suppose in the term of mean term, when I want to show the first statement, which f is one, here that was a not b not. Hmm? A not b not. You will see it's really equal to this, and here it's equal to a not b. You see that if I want to. <clears throat> Simplify this with the Boolean algebra, okay? I I, I can write A not B not plus A not B, and you will see that if I take the term of the A not from that, means that we extract this one, what we have, we have B plus B not, yes? B plus B not. And we know that B plus B not is one then my output should be A naught. This is with the help of Boolean algebra. Well, how I can do <clears throat> with the K map? It's very simple. You know, we have the rule, some rules, some simplification rules in K map, which it said that if I have one, or sometimes zero, whatever. It, it depends on you want to do it in the term of mean term or max term, okay? For that, I can make a loop. Whenever I can loop, make the loop, the common part between that is my answer, okay? What is the common part from here? It's A naught, because here I have B naught and B, it's a, the fixed term or the term which is fixed is the answer of that loop, and you will see that a not. You see that it's much more simpler than my Boolean algebra word. See much more. A two variable function suppose has the four variable meter as we saw, and we can do the same job. A little bit it's uh, same as uh, previous uh, things that we have done, but it's much more concerned. Uh, about the mean term job, okay? You will see that zero, zero is X bar, Y bar, as it's here. Zero, one is X bar, Y. One, zero is X, Y bar. And one, one or X, Y is equal to one, one, okay? Now we can easily see that each mean term has the common literals. And mean terms on the left and right side contain the y bar and y respectively. And mean terms in the top and bottom contain the x bar and x again, respectively, that you will see in the K-map. Means that K-map is very nice, very simple, and it will work great to do the simplification uh, of uh, our uh, Boolean algebra working <clears throat> anyway <clears throat> suppose you imagine we have the same we have the x bar y bar plus x bar y what i can do here i can simplify very simple same as the previous job and you will see that it's become x bar as the output uh, here Exactly, this is the same description that I gave you, and you can even follow it. Uh, it's uh, not something new. It exactly shows that the Boolean algebra, as well as K-map, they have the same output or same result. Or let us see another example, x bar y plus x bar x by y. Here, I can extract one x, and I can have x bar plus x. Little bit, it's difficult to write by this, but uh, anyway, no problem. I know that the answer should be y. Let us trace it on the k map. How do we know that the place of x bar y and x y is here, and common part is y? Then come on, the output is y for me. What about these terms? Suppose 
x bar y bar plus x bar y plus x y you know if you want to just follow the boolean algebra you may just take the x bar plus then y bar y will remain and then you have the x bar plus x bar y then it's become x bar plus x y okay as the output let us see how what it will happen in k map in k map also it's very nice you will see that the from the first row first column the fixed part is y and from this part the fixed part is x bar then you will see that the simplification result should be x bar plus y you see that it's very simple and uh, you can do it very nice with the k map uh, anyway now let us do one example uh, which is even it's not uh, much more difficult suppose i have the function which is a b bar plus a b by the boolean algebra simply i can say that the output should be a but let us see that is it exactly like that how we'll trace we know that a b bar means that a is one b bar is zero which it will come here and a b is equal to here okay then i know that the fixed term between them is a then my answer is a okay here i show that using the boolean algebra as well as k map result is same <clears throat> let us do the another <clears throat> example for the uh, k map suppose i have a bar b bar plus a b bar plus a bar b okay from first statement i think i can take one b bar then a will go and b bar plus a bar b okay i know that it's become a bar plus b it's by the boolean algebra let us now do it with the k map a bar b bar it's equal it's here a b bar means that a is one b bar b bar means that b is zero it's become here <clears throat> this room and second one is a bar b which it's become here okay then i can have two loop in loop number one fixed term is b in loop number two fixed bar is a bar then my result is a bar plus b very simple <clears throat> okay what we can do for three variable now okay if i have three variable uh, what should be the arrangement for me you know that if i have three variable i can have between zero zero till number seven okay eight bit i can have but um, uh, how i should put it you know to showing the three variable there is also one other way you can also rotate this table as 90 degree means that a can be in the place of b c and b c also can go there but the table will be rotated there is no difference between the between these answers but anyway uh, if we want to follow the uh, book rule or some process that uh, its people will do uh, we should uh, do that uh, in the clips that in future i will tell you i will send for you uh, you will see that there is no difference for both of the uh, tables. Okay, let us do. Suppose I have these A, B, C, okay? And I know that it, it, it's become like this. We should write zero, one for one bit. And here you have zero, 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 one. But here, as you see, I change. Instead of written one, zero, first we will write one, one, then we will write one, zero, okay? Now let's go and just put the F marks here. Suppose first is here, A should be zero here, and BC should be one zero. 
one zero is here okay this is one another one is a should be zero b c should be one one here okay i have done next one a should be one this case and b and c should be zero it's here okay done then next one is a is one b is one but c is zero here okay now if you see uh, this uh, <coughs> table let me remove the lines here okay i can have loops some loop okay but which loop i can put you see that i can do something like this here one loop here uh one loop again i can put here and something which is nice i can put one loop from here to here also why because it's something like the folded paper that you can uh, round it and uh, connect that two parts together okay uh let us see <clears throat> this is the method that i tell you that if you compare the previous table with uh, <clears throat> this table it's something like that it's rotated I personally like this because it's simple. One variable is here and two variables at the tops. But if again you will see here, we change this to place, it means that in the normal form it should be one zero, but we should change. Okay. These are also the mean term uh, or expression that we can put here. It means that M0 with the three value is here, M1. It should be M2, but it's become M3, then M2 will come here, M4, M5, M6, and then M7, like that, okay? <clears throat> um, or if we have the previous uh, table, we will see that the numbers is something like that, 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? 2 and 3 are changed, then again, 4, 5, seven six instead of six and seven you can see them and this is the adjusted um, binary marks and number which we put in the table uh let us see <clears throat> suppose with the knowledge of the pos and sop means that mean term and max term that we have if the question will be what should be the k map for one three and five maybe we can uh may maybe uh you can do it like that uh let me check the sound some students say that sound is not good okay you will see that one if i have three variables it should be a b c and and as you know one two four are uh are, uh, are weightage then it should be zero zero one and three should be one one and five can be one zero one <clears throat> now let us put for the first case, A should be zero and B should be zero and C should be one here. This is. Next case, A is zero, B is, uh, A is zero, B is one, and C is one again, which is in this case. It's equal to number three. Another one is A is one, we should come to this column and b is zero and c is one here okay now this is how we can put and very nice thing is that as we practiced last lecture whatever we don't have in 
SOP, it's definitely in POS, okay? You can also compare. The max term, it's something like uh, 0, 2, 4, and 5, that uh, we can uh, do it uh, uh, like this. 0, 2, 4, 6, and 7. These are our uh, max term that uh, we show it here and uh, you can see but now let us see how we can simplify our uh, kmap uh, numbers or kmaps marks it's uh, something that uh, we should now see and review the work Okay. what till now i teach you i just try to tell you that there is no difference between uh conventional methods or uh, previous methods that you learn with the algebraic rules and um what we can say with the k map okay just hold on okay. for two, two three minutes i will make you clear exactly today okay i will tell you how you, yeah. how to take the answer it's exactly what, what I'm going to start just right now. Just what I wanted till now, you know, that KMAP is same map is same as uh, binary algebra or Boolean algebra. Okay? Did you understand that? And second thing is that how we should put or how we should write our numbers inside of KMAP. Did you understand that? Okay, it's enough till now. Just right now, I'm yeah. going to tell you that how we should uh, do that simplification, okay? Uh, let us see now. Now, you will see that. Suppose if I have the K map, I have some possible loops, okay? I can have two number, uh, you know, any loops at least should have two number. I can have something like these, okay? I can have something like uh, four four numbers in the loop. It means that a loops is the part which can which at least should contain of two number. Okay, it can be in vertical or horizontal. Okay, uh, but you see that I I cannot be something like this. Something like this is not my loop. No, never. Okay, I I cannot do that. Uh, think that. Um, it should have in horizontal or in the vertical format or uh, number. And the best loop is the loop which contains four number. Why? Because inside of four number, you can simplify so many parts, okay? And one more loops which remain from end to end. I call it end to end, you will see here, okay? Uh, suppose, in the first number that you will see here, the common part between all is B. Why? Because the number, the variable which is fixed here is B. You see that B is one. C is changing, we don't need it. A is changing, we don't need it. Then the simplification of all these loops is equal to B, okay? And C, for the next part, next loops that we have. The common part which we have is B, C naught. B, C naught is fixed in hold. But as you see, A and A naught we have, which is no need. It will go. See the next. Okay. In the next, we have A, A, A here. And again, it's A. But again, you will see that b naught and c naught we have here we have b and c naught then simply we can say a is from here and c naught from these uh, rows will remain okay very simple let us see one more example suppose i have a b c naught plus b naught c plus a naught and i want to put it inside of my k map you know First case is A, B, C naught. A means that A should be one, B should be one, and C should be zero. This is my first, okay? 
another one b not c okay in the term of b not c i have some other possibility one is that because the place of a is not clear i can say if this sentence is uh, maybe using a b not c or maybe using a not b not and c okay then i should put that a not here b not c here and a b not c which is here okay second sentence i just have a not then i how many possible condition i have i sh should write b c i think four times i can have b c let me see b c okay one can be a not b not c what can be a not b c not what can be a not b not c and one can be a b c which i put all numbers here then you will see to simplify okay first is that what is the common part for all these parts is a not then the result of these roots is a not okay and what is the common part for this loop is b not c then my answer is a plus oh, oh one more we have one more one we have we can have even something like this which is uh, b c not then i have three terms as the output and you will see that it's exactly the previous sentence that i have okay do one more example suppose they tell us simplify the mean term sentence of one three five what is my first step my first step that i should extract what is the number for one what is for three and what is for five okay as we know one is equal to if i arrange a b c for my uh, sentence uh, we will see that uh, it's equal to <clears throat> zero zero one zero zero one okay and then means that this number another number is three okay three is equal to zero one one it's equal to this this is three and next one is five okay it's zero it's uh if i say a e c and one two four it should be one zero one one zero one it's here and it's three sorry okay then how many possible condition i have i can have one loop for here and one more loop for here what is the common part for this loop this is b not c and what is the common part for this part is just a not and simply i can say my output is a not c plus b not yes here again you will see i made the mistake i have two numbers zero one and one one this c is common oh, okay it should come here see this is my answer you will see that k map is very simple and uh, you can learn it very fast let us do one more suppose if i have this situation don't think that what was the question you will see that i can have one loop here okay here i have two possible job one is that i put the loops with four if i put with four then uh, i have less number of um, uh, variable means that it's the maximum simplification that i can do here okay if i do that here the common part is c naught 
to this is still not. And here the common part is A and B, like that. See? Very simple. See one more situation. Suppose I have this. I have one I, uh, this uh, arrangement. One loop I can do like this. One loop I can do like this. And one thing between these two again I can do. If I don't do it also, my statement is okay, but it's better that I will do that. And you will see that from this part, it's x, y plus x bar z plus y z, which simply we can do it like that. Means that if you do this or don't do it, it's a little bit no different because if you do this in um, these uh, redundant terms, uh, again, it's become simplified. But anyway, do one more example. Suppose they give us to do the minimum solution for uh, these uh, numbers. Z I want to write the mean term and also simplify the sentence for uh, 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, and 7. What should I do? To do this work, first I should, as we discussed, first uh, I should extract the number of uh, the number which related to this mean term. Okay. How we will do that? We know that zero is equal to a not b not c not. It's this number. Second one is one. One is equal to zero zero one is this number. Second number is two. It's equal to zero one zero. Zero one zero. Next one is five. Five is equal to one zero one. This one. Next one is six. Okay. Six is equal to one one zero. One one zero here, and last one is seven, which is one one one. Okay. Then simply what we can do. Simply we can see that. Uh, simply we can uh, see that I can have uh, loops like this. Okay. In loop number one. The common part is A and B naught. Then I can say that A, B naught. For this part, for next loop, the common part is A and C, as you see. And for this part, the common part is here is B, C. Okay. With this arrangement, means that the same numbers, I can have another loops, another form of the loops, which I show you here. Okay. I can even do that. No problem. Do it. Your answer should be very near. Anyway, let us see. If I do this one and this one, the common term is A naught, C naught. For this part, it can be B naught, C. And for this part can be A, B. Okay. These are a uh, little bit maybe uh, difference between the loops that you will do. You should try to have the optimum number of the loops and optimum number of the inputs uh, for your uh, statement that they will give you in the question. Okay, uh, just uh, I will tell you uh, something regarding the um, more number of uh, inputs. Suppose if till now we practice with three, but what should be the situation if it's four? But uh, just have it in your mind because in Friday again lecture, I'm going to again refresh all and much more concentrate on more number of the inputs. Suppose if I have four, I also can have the same pattern like that, A, B, C, D. And if you see now, 
just the change is from last to C. Last to part, just it will change. Means that instead of I say 0, 0, 0, 1, it should be 1, 0. I will put 1, 1. Again, here also, I have 1, 1. And then the same number, we can put it there. And same things again we have. Now the number of loops will be changed, and we can do the simplification for that. OK. Now, whatever I will tell you for today lecture, this is your job to again solve all the question in paper. No need to send for me. OK. Now, for today, I will not give you the task, because what you should you should uh, read the as well as this PPT. Please practice and solve whatever I have done in this PPT. Simply, you can see it on the mock uh, system of university. I, unfortunately, I saw that none of you review the PPTs because number of the people who see the PPT, I will see just two, three person see the PPT. Please review all these PPT that from first day we share for you on the mock system. Okay, now any question? Okay. Bye. Bye.